Hi, everybody. My name is Chase Nunes, and I'm one of the hosts of the worldwide popular podcast <laughs> called Geek Gamer Weekly. Uh, we do a weekly show talking about the latest and geek and gaming topics. Uh, you can find our show on our website at geekgamerradio.com, as well as on most of the popular uh, podcast clients out there, iTunes, Zune, and many, many others. Um, so we've been asked by the people over at telestream.net where you can find a very, very cool, awesome piece of software called Wirecast. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little video showing a little bit of the behind-the-scenes secret sauce of what we do to make our show happen and to show you uh, how we use Wirecast with our show. So first off, uh, you're watching me on a Microsoft, uh, Microsoft LifeCam Cinema uh, running on a system, Windows 7 system, 64-bit. And so that is running into a Core i7 uh, X58 chipset motherboard made by MSI. It's the big brother motherboard. I think the box is actually sitting on the floor by your left leg there, John. Uh, it's, it's that one right there. So what we do is we have a few different ways of, uh, of the stuff. So first off, we are running right now three Microsoft Live cams. First off, I'm going to show you the behind-the-scenes cam uh, camera. So I'm, I'm going to go to camera three, and right now you will see the camera is pointing at two screens. Uh, I have autofocus on because I'm going to be moving the camera around, but typically we leave the autofocus off because... When you're watching the video on the live stream, the autofocus is just it just it doesn't look good. So I turn it off. So anyway, on the screen on your left here is the main desktop where Wirecast is running. Um, it's hooked up to my machine down there on the floor, and this is where everything's happening. The screen on your right here is actually a separate computer. It's a Mac. <laughs> it's a Mac that is on the floor. Uh, and that is running Desktop Presenter, which is another one of uh, the products that Telestream does. So, to show you kind of the layout of our studio, and it's a little messy, but who cares? There is John Kessler, one of the co-hosts there. Hey, John, how you doing, man? Just ducky. Just ducky. And we run all the sound of the show into our, our sound mixer here, and we pipe in Joe. Hi. Now, Joe, first off, I'm going to bring the camera around. Joe is on a, a third screen over here on the left-hand side. Now, Joe uh, is also running on a desktop presenter, but this is actually screen number two from my desktop. So this screen and this screen here are one machine. So I'm running desktop presenter here to capture the, uh, the Skype video that Joe is on there. Also down here is our chat room, but that's irrelevant. Uh, so, <laughs> so there's Joe. So what we do is I set up a shot in the software here. So I'm going to go ahead and click to Joe. And now you're going to see Joe. And the... Uh, hi, Joe. Say, say hi to all the people. Out there. Hi. Hi. Right. <laughs> so we bring uh, Joe in on Skype. And the, the video is really crisp. Now, Joe, why don't you tell them real quick about what kind of technology you're using on your end as far as bringing in the audio quality and bringing in the, the actual camera and, and your setup. What, what do you got? So, so I'm just running uh, the current version of Skype, uh, vo version 5 something or other. And I have a... <laughs> Way um, to be technical. <laughs> well, I mean, it's 5... No, you know, uh, what is it? 510112, uh, which is the current version of Skype uh, right now. Uh, so I'm running that that Skype, and I uh, have a, uh, a Logitech C910 camera hooked up to it, which is one of Skype's supported HD cameras, so it's running at uh, 720p for the video f uh, feed. You can see it's a little bit choppy. Um, that's part of Skype. We haven't figured out a way to get around that yet. Um, for audio, I'm using a, uh, a Snowball uh, Blue mic, um, or a Blue Snowball mic. I, I guess it's, it's a Snowball as a model. Blue is the manufacturer. Uh, it's just a USB microphone plugged straight into the back of my computer. I'm also running uh, Windows 7 64-bit on this computer. I've also done this from my uh, MacBook. I have a, a MacBook laptop next to me that you can't really see. It's out of frame. And, uh, and that, uh, when we've done the show that way, I've, it, I've either not had my desktop available or something like that. And I've actually used the iSight camera built right into that, um, again, with, uh, with Skype. And that works just as well. 
Um, I usually try to take the Snowball with me because the this microphone is a lot higher quality than than others that I have available. Yeah. Now, uh, part of the reason also for for the ch- the choppiness of the uh, of of Joe's video is one thing I've I've kind of noticed on the the video stream coming in from Joe is when uh, the camera that Joe uses, which is the C910, as he mentioned, when it switches over to this high def mode. The frame rate actually drops a little bit, and I think that's a limitation of Skype and, and the camera when it kicks into that high-quality mode. When I think it's a limitation of Skype, yes. Oh, okay. Because one thing I, I do know is when it, it, it does kind of drop down, Joe, when um, it actually gets better frame rate where you're in that medium-quality uh, situation, which is kind of interesting. I, I think Skype puts a limit on the maximum amount of upload that it uses. Um, I'm not sure why. Uh, I have a uh, a, a, uh, a 25 meg um, uh, full speed, so both both directions it'll go 25 megabits. Uh, so I'm 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 only using a couple hundred a couple hundred k per second for for upstream for uh, Skype, when I could be using up to uh, up to a, a probably a meg and a half, maybe two megs per second. Sorry about that. So, That's me unplugging something and plugging it back in. You don't hear it, Joe, but uh. but. Uh, uh, but I, I think it's a limitation of Skype. I'm not sure. There, with older versions of Skype, there were hacks around it that you could force it to go 30 frames per second, um, regardless as to what camera you were using. Yeah. You could also force the resolution, but uh, those apparently have been disabled with uh, 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 Skype version 5. So what some of the people are probably wondering is, A, how do you switch your shots? B, uh, how do you have your Wirecast software set up? Uh, and uh, how do you use the desktop presenter with what you guys do? Great questions. Thanks for asking. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so first off, I'm going to switch back over to our uh, third camera that we set up here, and I'll kind of show you some of the secret sauce. So first off, there's John. He's hiding back there. Um, so first off, I went down to uh, the local Best Buy and picked up uh, a little number pad here. Uh, this was seven dollars. You can get some that are wireless for about fifteen or twenty. Just shop around. This one was actually a clearance item from Best Buy, and I got it for four bucks. And it's USB, and it plugs right into my uh, man. That is really herky jerky, but that plugs right into my keyboard there. And the reason why it's herky jerky is because it's set up for auto exposure, and the camera doesn't like that very much. So. I use a little program uh, that you can find on the, the Wirecast forums uh, called Wirecast Toolbox. So what the Wirecast Toolbox does is you can go ahead and you have to type in the exact name of your shots. So over here, as you could see, I have shots with Chase, John, uh, uh, Joe, uh, dual shots, triple shots, the Mac that we talked about, also a video clip. And this is camera number three. So what you do is you, you type in the exact names and then what number you want to press on the keypad. All right. And then what that will do is makes it really easy to switch between shots. So I could be staring at the camera here, this camera right up here, and then just be switching shots and it will look very natural and very normal. Same thing goes to titles. I can pop up titles on the screen. Uh, by hitting key presses as well. So I'm going to hit number four, uh, and that will bring up the... Uh, oh, let me do that here. Hit number four, and it will bring up the title that you see on the screen here. So there you go. There's my name, Chase Nunes. If I hit uh, number five, that's going to bring up John. Uh, and also, I have titles for Joe as well. So there you go. So this really quick little small piece of software allows you to set up up to 20 individual types of layers and shots. Uh, and you have the individual hotkeys, and then you apply it, and then you send it down to your tray, and then it, that's where it runs, and it, and it runs very, very well. Now, I'm going to go through real quick and show you kind of the settings that we have in Wirecast. And to do that, uh, since I can't run two instances of Desktop Presenter on the same screen, or I can, but it kind of gets a little complicated, I use something called uh, a screen capture software. So I'm going to switch to that now. So here is the actual software, and there's John there, uh, which is a frozen shot from before. Yeah. Uh, so what we do to set up our shots is we run at a 480p widescreen resolution. Uh, we don't run high def just because of the fact that most people you know, may, may not be able to watch us in high def, and plus uh, it keeps our file sizes down. 
And so really, when we set up our broadcast settings, uh, let me uh, click on that here. Um, let me switch over to that. Actually, it's kind of hard for me to do that. It's not switching over. Um, give me a second here. I'm kind of doing this a little bit on the fly. On the fly, we'll select that. Capture, select. There we go. All right. So here's the broadcast settings uh, that we use. We uh, we send our stuff to Justin TV. We also send our stuff to Ustream, and we also record a file in MP uh, M4V format that allows us to edit it on the Mac, and then we compress it down, and then we do our editing. Um, I can't go through too much of this stuff because I don't want to show you my my sort of things. But but as you can see, it's it's really really uh, neat stuff here as far as. Uh, how it all works and I don't know what else I can oh I forgot to talk about the desktop presenter so let me bring that up now so what we do is on the Mac computer we have desktop presenter running so we can actually show the sites that we're talking about while we're doing the show uh, so here's a, a web page of the the streaming room and so what we do is we set up our, our show links on the left hand side here and let me switch back to camera three so I use a delicious uh, plug-in, um, and I set up all of our links on the left-hand side here. And then when I click on them, it brings them up over here. So this way, when I'm doing the show, so let me bring up a story that we talked about earlier, the Nintendo 3DS. So here it is here. And Desktop Presenter is running up at the top there. You can see the little icon. And then I hit the button on the keypad, which I have it set up for the plus. So I hit that. And then there it is. There's the desktop presenter. Uh, so in a nutshell, uh, that's how we uh, use use Skype. Now we also uh, we also use the soundboard. I think a soundboard is very important when you're producing a show because it allows you to bring in the mix audio uh, as well. And so oh, I still have Joseph Falby on the screen. <laughs> no <laughs> yeah, one said any, no one said anything about that. Well, you were going along. Uh, that's all right. You could just interrupt me. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> so let me show you on camera three here. So uh, here we uh, we have the two mic cables here for John and myself. Then we have a channel for the audio coming in of, off the Mac, a channel for the audio coming in off of the computer, the main computer, which is down here on the floor, uh, which brings in uh, Joe's audio. Now, we can't feed Joe's audio back to him. Otherwise, he'll get a nasty feedback. So we send Joe what we call mix minus, which gives all the channels... Uh, and we send it back to Joe, uh, of John and myself, but not himself. So as you can see where it says computer, and that, that top pot there, number A, is turned down. But if you see the ones on the left, they're all turned up. That means we're sending Joe the A channel minus himself, which is called mix minus. Anything to say to that, John? It works. It works. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird, huh, John? You have two cameras yes. pointing at you. So here, yeah. so this is the mobile camera, and here's John's fixed camera. You can definitely see the difference when you turn off the added extra features, um, and you keep it straight there. So in, in a nutshell, that's what uh, we use Wirecast to do. Uh, you know, we use the Skype group feature to bring in multiple people at once on Skype. That allows us, and then we we crop it down using the software. Uh, but really, it, it's a very very powerful piece of software that allows us to not only stream to multiple services, but record an offline file. So we can edit it, and we edit that on the Mac, and then we send it out. And then I also extract the audio from the file so we can put out an audio version of the show. And that's what we do. Um, if you have any questions to this, please reply uh, to this post. Uh, also, you can reply to us on YouTube and also on our website at geekgamerradio.com. I'll have this on there as well. Uh, any I, I wanted to ask you, John, what do you think of the software? Do you have anything you want to add or anything? Well, like that? You, you didn't mention that uh, you have gnomes coming at night <laughs> doing all the editing while you go to actually get to go to bed and go to sleep. Editing takes a lot <laughs> yes. of time. I, uh, Those are editing gnomes. We'll be, we'll be finishing here in the next five minutes. John will be taking off going home. Joe will be sleeping. I'll be up till about 1.30. Well, it takes me about an hour to an hour and a half to edit, to produce, to add in the titles, to add in the music, to add in what we need to add in. Uh, but it's well worth it. I, I, it's fun. You know, you get your hands dirty and you get to do that sort of thing. Any opinions on the software? I mean, w what do you think, John? Works good when you got a system that doesn't crash. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, the crack. Uh, thanks to uh, thanks to the great people over at Telestream, they were able to assist me in trying to troubleshoot some issues that we're having. Ended up being hardware related. It was a bad motherboard, bad manufacturer. I just yeah, I switched manufacturers and it cleared everything up m- miraculously, which is great. Joe, did you any uh, did anything further you wanted to add, John? No, no. Oh, you're, I was okay. looking at Joe's. Oh, okay. There. So, so Joe, um, anything you want to add? F- uh, f- final, finalized, or anything you want to throw in? No, I'm, I'm, I've just been uh, pretty impressed with how well it works. Uh, it, it seems like it, it's pretty smooth. Um, we haven't had, you know, since you've, you've uh, replaced motherboard, we really haven't had any problems um, that have been connected to the, the system. Uh, we've had a few issues with with Skype not necessarily wanting to go to the the high def right away, and of course, if we do group Skype, we can't use high def. Um, but uh, you know, those kind of issues are being ironed out, and it's certainly not the fault of Wirecast. I think Wirecast has been almost flawless. Yeah, yeah, no, Wire, Wirecast is great, and really, when you you compare it to to other solutions out there, um, wow, my frame rate just dropped all of a sudden. Oh, there it goes. It's back. That's so weird. It just dropped. It was we'll Joe. We'll blame it on Joe. We'll blame it on Joe. It's hey. him and his high def stream. Him and his high def stream. Uh, but there you go. Uh, you know, there's there's our setup. So, like I said, if you have questions or comments, please let us know. Uh, and obviously, it's a work in progress. Uh, we are always trying to innovate and bring more things into the show, streamline it, polish it, and make it better. Uh, as always, uh, you know, if, if you like what we talk about, please check out our show at geekgamerradio.com. Otherwise, thanks for watching uh, this piece on the blog. And you guys have a great one. And as John always says at the end of every show, not crazy. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>